my name is Erica with an A and welcome to my channel. So today I am recording in my car because I decided I was going to go grocery shopping and I went and got a coffee and I'm just <sighs> chilling in the car, taking a few minutes to myself. Um, my son's at home with my boyfriend right now. So I'm again just having a little me time while I drink my coffee. So I figured I would film something. Um, so in today's video, I am going to have some, uh, filmed things from the gym. Um, I have really improved. I, I feel like my skill level has increased with my, uh, punches and my, um, rounds with the trainer. I have really been pushing myself. Um, we got a treadmill, so you'll see me on that. What I have been doing is I will walk for a minute, run for a minute, walk for a minute, run for a minute. And then um, I've been trying to up my speed when I run. So sometimes it's not a full minute. So <laughs> sometimes I have to cut it short because I, uh, I'm trying to get myself to run faster. However, I did hurt my knee the other day. So I've been taking it easier on running. Um, I only run a couple times instead of back and forth. Uh, I, I do this for 10 minutes uh, before my workout. So I've been increasing my cardio and then I go straight from cardio to uh, kickboxing stuff. So um, I already have my heart rate elevated and then doing all the kickboxing stuff, it just stays elevated for the whole hour instead of my first round trying to get my heart rate up. Um, I've already got it up. So I, I feel like it's been pushing me a little bit harder and getting me um, more fit, I guess. <laughs> My heart health is getting better. So that will be some clips of my training that I've been doing. Um, I did get my orange belt. Yay. So <laughs> I did not film any of that. Um, I'm in a class with a lot of children and I didn't want to accidentally get any kids uh, filmed. So yeah, I'm really excited I got my orange belt. Um, I am starting to do a, another class on Mondays and Wednesdays. So it will actually be four days in a row of two hour workouts. <laughs> it's going to be hard, um, but I think it's the push I need. I love being at the gym. It is kind of my happy place. <laughs> um, and I've never had a gym be that way. So it's it's been kind of nice to be in there for so long. Um, so hopefully these two hour um, a day classes, cause I'll do Taekwondo and then I'll do kickboxing. So hopefully I survive. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. I love being at the gym. It's kind of weird. I've never loved being at the gym. <laughs>
so I also worked on my yearly budget um, we just had our review so I know what I'm gonna be making this year um, I'm pretty excited I when I left Dairy Queen I left a very profitable position but I was in the Twin Cities so my money going out was way higher than it is here which is one of the reasons why I left because as a single mom I just couldn't make ends meet in the cities um, and so I decided to go back to school which in turn meant I was taking an extreme pay cut it was more than in half um, and I went back to school and I started at the place I'm work as an accountant now um, five years ago I was hired on I was already a temp for six months I think so it's been like five and a half years I've been there and <laughs> I finished my degree I have my bachelor's in accounting and I am finally <laughs> over where I left at Dairy Queen it was a long five years um, I'm very proud of myself because definitely now my outgoing is way different than it used to be so I do have the income coming in that I can do savings I can look to the future it's not just paycheck to paycheck and it is unbelievably rewarding that I'm finally to where I was um, but my work-life balance is way better benefits are way better granted I work for a bigger corporation now so it's easier for them to give me the benefits than it was for the small business I used to work for but it's an unbelievable rewarding feeling that I made that decision to go back to school and in just five years I was able to get my degree have my job and be financially where I was before even better now <laughs> because of the benefit like it's it's mind-blowing that I was able to do this <laughs> and I'm ecstatic <laughs> I don't even have words but so I did my uh, yearly budget and I put in one item in my top part of my budget that is not a necessary thing that needs to happen, but I want it to happen. It's more of a savings goal, but I didn't add it, add it in the bottom where my savings goal is. Um, I put it in the top uh, because it's something I really want to happen by this summer, um, and that's to buy a four-wheeler. We have summer activities where we go and my boyfriend goes mudding. It's a designated area. It's not somebody's property. <laughs> it's all legal. Um, so he's got his big souped up pickup truck. And I am getting better, but I still have anxiety in the car. So he does have to take it easier with me when I'm with him. And I, I feel bad about it. I want him to be able to go out and do his thing without me having to get left behind, basically. So by getting a four-wheeler, I can go along with them on my four-wheeler, and he can go have fun in his pickup. So it, it's definitely a family thing. Um, it's always something we keep putting on the back burner because, I mean, we have the pickup. We don't need a four-wheeler, but it's something I want this year. So that's in my yearly budget to have that ready to go for this summer. So it's, it's going to be a reach. Um, I am still positive those months. Um, I'm not in the negative with my budget. So, I mean, it's going to be tight, but it's doable. So my yearly budget comes out to just shy of 30K. Um, it's a lot more than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really looked at the year um, but it's doable and below that I put some savings goal that I want um, 
I want to save up for my son's summertime childcare because once that bill gets put in, I'm negative for those months. So I need to um, have like a sinking fund where I put money off to the side so that I have that money for those months because my monthly bills on top of that childcare, it, it doesn't work. It's an extra 680 a month, I believe. Yeah. If, yeah. <laughs> it's an extra 680 a month. So it's, it adds a strain to my budget, but yeah, it's, it's a work in progress. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with my yearly budget. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with my insurance because we pay that, um, once every six months. And again, it's upped now that I got this nice new car. Um, so it's not something I can squeeze in my monthly budget if I don't save up some. So, it, I mean, it, it's something I don't need the entire amount. It's, um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm blabbering. So I'll put in a little video of that and yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Thank you for watching my video. Um, please hit that like button if you watched till now. <laughs> it does help uh, get my video out there. Um, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!